What's up guys, happy new year and this is Orange Gadget giving you a another video about the January 2014 format and what decks would you see in that format come January 1st. So first off, um, I would like to say that all of these decks could stand like toe-to-toe -to -toe with each other given the right player and the right cards they can make the right plays and everything can develop on either player's advantage so okay um let's start with this is kind of ranked but not in the way of like this is the highest and like if Mermails go against Constellers, which Constellers bounce back stuff to the hand, Mermails would get advantage off of that sometimes, which is not as nice. But given the right players, if Constellers play smart, they could beat Mermails of some sort. So let's get on to the list. First, they have Constellers. They have three tanky now, and they've been good last format. So I'm pretty sure they'll do good this format as well. Um, next we have Bujins. Got three tanky again. New support, new broken stuff, and four honest. I mean, who would have four honest in their decks? Aside from Bujins. Black Wings have like f three, but it's not even as strong as Crane, but that doesn't matter. Next we have Fire Fists. There's a real um, th a deck that benefited from the going to Unlimited of Tenki. Next we have Giria Karakuri because it's just the fastest deck right now in this slow format. There's another fast deck, Zombies, with the malicious shenanigans if you want it. These two are going to go to 3 again, which is great for Zombies. <laughs> Then you got Harpies, blow up back row, make rank 7s, make rank 4s, make anything you want. And still blow up back row and get card advantage and stuff. Then you got, uh, Judgment, no, Light Horns with the new support. There's a broken thing right here. It's a wolf. That's a tuner. A level 4 tuner, that's a wolf. Has 2000 defense and can blow up stuff. And can mill you three cards. How's that? How's that for a new card for Light Swords, right? Then you got, uh, Medal Chase. Doesn't. If you have Ticket in, um, what do you call this? Chateau. You get hand, hand advantage all day. And you don't have to worry about them blowing stuff up. Because they'll just come back. Simple as that. Then you got Noble Knights. They're a really great card. They make... They, like... Summon one big card and make it invincible. And that's it. It's invincible. Though there are ways to get over it. But it's really hard to play against. Then you got... Plants, which is Lone Fire 2, makes it alone the better card in plants. But then you got the new baby dragons. Since the dragon ruler baby dragons, there are two new baby dragons that are really broken and I think will be utilized in chaos dragons really, really much. They're just that broken. Then you got Black Wings, they got the 3 Whirlwind back last format, and they got 
um, that trap card that blows up all the set cards your opponent controls or something. It's really good. Then you got um, spell books and prophecy. Though Fate is one, it's still a great deck. Along with Mermails. They're a great deck as well. And it should be at least a bit higher in this list. It's just that everybody in this list is just as good given the right circumstances. Then you got the new um, Gravekeepers with the new support. This is the Infernity Barrier of the new Gravekeepers, and this is the Vanity's Emptiness that lets you still be able to special summon, which is really broken. Then we got Agents, it's been there since forever, and since it's been there, it's still going to be there. Same case with Dark Worlds. And this is sa kind of the same case with Infernity Launcher. Then you got TG Stun. I think they're coming back now that they have 3 Striker. Get 2 monsters and you're guaranteed to have a Synchro if both of them died. Just special the Striker and then special Warwolf. Then get like Wonder Magician or Maturia Beast or something. Evil Swarms, it's still a good deck. It's just because it, Ophian isn't as good anymore, but it still has a few tricks like Bahamut or the Master Key Beetle Lock, which is still a nice trick to have. But it's just still there. I mean, it shuts down Mermails and chaos dragons and stuff like that it doesn't make them be able to summon judgment dragon or something then we got ghost tricks and this slow farm rat i think they're gonna be it's not really slow if there's a lot of fast decks but ghost tricks are great okay then got fire kings it's really really Broken Fire Kings. Kill it. It blows you up. You don't kill it. It will grind you. Then you got anti-meta stuff like Ryo and Pachycephalo and Stundex. Like, you know, the usual Banisher of the Radiance, DD, Warrior Lady, Macro stuff. The usual... Then you got more. Got Heratix. Didn't get hit. Got Labradorite, which is kind of new. It's tuner level 6 normal monster. It's cool. You could add the Chaos if you run that. Then you got the new blue eye support. With the blue eyed made in a really, really broken card. Um... It's kind of turbo if you have trade in cards of consonants and wonder wants. Then you got hunters, rank fours, get hand advantage, stuff like that. Um, machinas, along with gadgets, I guess. Still there, didn't get hit or anything. They're just an overall great tech. Then the Dragon Rulers, which are now going to be at 1, all of them at 1. But I believe some people, they'll still be there playing it. I don't know why, but they'll still be there. It's going to be played competitively, but it's still there. We got Batlin Boxers and Zectors, an old but still there archetype. Dino Rabbit, even the one rabbit they got, Guayba, <laughs> could still make the Dalka and stuff. You got frogs. I don't know what frog. Lancer frog. Rank 2 frogs. Or monarch. Frog monarchs. Any kind of frogs. It's frogs. 
It spams frogs. A lot of frogs. Frogs, frogs, frogs. Then you got Malefic Skill Drain with a seal of Articalcos, which you seem to can't MSD because it'll just be wasting it. And then you got Wind Up. Even with the one magician, it's still good. Mm hmm. And. Um. Exilia. Um, Final Countdown got hit, and Self Destruct Button got hit, but Exilia didn't, so it's one of the last troll decks out there. The next being Burn. Burn is still there. Along with Exodia, it didn't get hit. It's a troll deck. Troll people want to use it. Then a new uh, archetype that could make rank fives pretty easily are Tronomaly. They go like Vulcus Horus and Gaia and kill you. Then that's it. Then you got the tribute, like. I don't care how you tribute them, you get like Mausoleum or Frogs or Macro DD Survivor shenanigans. Then you got Trap Tricks. A really great archetype Trap Tricks. They're like a stun deck that lets you search when you summon and Let's you activate cards from your hand and they can't be negated even by seven tools or something. They just can't. And everything they say to you, they just say no. Then six samurais, because it's still there. Why won't it be there? Xaver is another old archetype, but it's still there. Some newer ones are Heraldics, which can make rank 4s and even like overlay on top of it to make that 4000 guy. I don't know the name, but it's there. Gladiator Beasts, still one bestiary, but it's still a nice deck. Another new archetype? No, it's not really a new archetype, but there's new support for the Cyber Dragon stuff. And it's a great way to like it's a nice deck especially with DNA transplant DNA transplant in itself makes it really good and you got chain beat uh, not a lot of people know about this deck but it's really 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 annoying to get over like if they get a wind up rabbit you just can't deal with it ever then you got the Junk, Doppel, Quasar, Synchron, uh, whatever you want to call it, TG Hyper Librarian, Formulas and Draw 2 and stuff like that, shenanigans, deck, and it's still there. It's just life. Well, that's all the things you'll see this format. Again... This is one of them. Yeah, let me just get this for you. Alright. So let me just flash it again. What did I change? I didn't even change anything. Alright. This is the first list. Installers, Bujins, Firefists, Gear, Karakuri, Zombie, Harpies, Light Swords, Medalches, Noble Knights, Plants, Chaos Dragons, Black Wings, Prophecy, Mermails, uh, Gravekeepers, Agents, Dark Worlds, Infernity, TGs, Evil Swarm, Ghost Trick. Fire Kings, Antimeta, Stun stuff, um, Hair Addicts, Blue Eyes, Hunters, 
uh, Fortress E Dragons still alive. They didn't ban it completely. They'll pay for it. Uh, Badland Boxers, Insectors, Dino Rabbit, um, Frogs, Malefix, Wind Up, Sigazodia, Burn, Chronomaly, um, Monarchs, Trap Tricks, Sex Samurai, Sex Sabers, Heraldics, Gladiator Beast, Cyber Dragons, um, I guess you could say stun, chain beat, whatever. And any deck that could make um, Quasar. It's still competitive. And that's it. I guess. Tell me in the comments section below if you disagree. If, or like if you agree. I don't know. Just whatever a YouTuber would say. Yeah. But. And point is, this is what I think people will be playing next format, and it's still good. Peace, and have a happy new year. This is Orange Gadget. Saying again, happy new year. I'm being awkward. I'm going to stop this. Thanks.